At, at the moment, everyone remains on contract, and uh, we, the plan is to use just about ev everyone in regards to al almost everything you said, rebuilding the boat. We're going to look at being able to do some races on, um, obviously, on probably previous generation Volvo 70s. Um, and we will, everyone will, be, everyone will be put to work. I think it's, it's um, critical that you see that most of the teams here, when, when they went in the last few months of their build-up phase to the start, their crews were there assembling the boat ready for, for sailing. So it's al almost more of a similar... Uh, build up to a start, but um, ours is going to be more compressed and, and uh, with a lot more pressure on everybody. Uh, the, the ambition is that we are ready to sail out of, of Lisbon and thereby participating in the last uh, two legs. Um, of course, we dream and hope for more, but that is what we are, uh, are aiming for as a realistic uh, target. I'd also just want to add to what Chris said uh, earlier about the, about the team. Um, I have tasked uh, Chris Nicholson to review. Uh, and assess the team, uh, whether we have the right team to be competitive when we return to the race. It's now a different race than the one that we set out to sail when we uh, embarked on the journey in Alicante. And, uh, and Chris will uh, conclude upon that uh, during January and his assessment is one that will be back 100% by the, by the undersigned. Since we were on the reef, um, the picture of the repair process has gotten better. So uh, we're able to get the boat off the reef in better shape than we thought. Um, so the next couple of days, you know, we're sort of sitting there on the edge of the edge of the lounge chair, waiting for the emails to come in for what the what that um, the extent of the repairs is going to be. But um, that's the process, and, and that buys that gets the builders to start work almost immediately while the boat is still being shipped from Malaysia up to Italy. Obviously, we've got to see the extent of that damage, but you know, from everything that I could see, the you know, you'd you'd if I was to put round numbers on it, you know, I'd say that 70, 80 percent of the deck is still usable, um, and then, and then obviously, a lot, there's a lot of damage on the starboard side of the hull, uh, right forwards. Um, you know, like what gets replaced needs to be replaced, but the main, the main purpose of, of us getting the boat to Italy is to reuse as much as possible of the existing boat and structure. The biggest challenge of this whole project is to make sure that this boat is a one design Volvo version 65. Uh, and it's tricky because normally when you just add carbon it will be heavier. <laughs> but it can't be different than the others. And, and there's very small tolerances we have on the weight and there's small tolerances we have on the shape. But uh, the keel, the bolt, the boat has to be one design, so it has to be the same. First we are focused on getting back into uh, this edition of, of Volvo Ocean Race and uh, make that comeback a success, uh, both commercially and sporting wise. And uh, then we will evaluate uh, whether this team will also continue in, in the next edition of, of Volvo Ocean Race. At the stopovers, there will be representation from Team Vestas Wind uh, to ensure that our commercial activities can be, uh, be continued. Uh, but uh, Chris Nicholson, together with uh, the commercial team of, um, of Vestas and Powerhouse, will make a plan for that. But there will be crew members of, uh, of Team Vestas Wind at all stopovers also, uh, uh, where we don't have a boat to, uh, to sail out with. It, it's really been an extremely difficult few weeks for everybody in, involved in this project. And, um, but now, we're, we're, it's almost like we've almost turned a corner and we're able to now go and start the repair process to get back into the race. So um, uh, that's the best news we've had for an awful long time. And, uh, and, and now it's up to, up to us to, to get back into the race and, and, and show what we can do.